Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Home Solutions, the area's only local home and garden show. Dennis Purvis with you live and direct, all as always, uh, here from the Mix 1041 studio. And we're super happy this week to not just be on Mix 104, but also ESPN Cleveland 1013. So, so happy and excited to get ESPN uh, flagship station here in town. Uh, so congrats, shout out to my, my good friend Steve uh, for getting this uh, getting this move. It's I'm I'm excited as a sports nut. Uh, to have ESPN right here in Cleveland. Woo! Uh, I think, yes, it's a big <laughs> deal. So uh, uh, kudos to that, and we're happy to be on. So um, I hope everybody's doing well this Saturday morning. Uh, just remember, as always, let me get my shameless plug out of the way. You're brought to you by your friendly local neighborhood contractor, Pro 93 Home Solutions. I'm a little biased as one of the owners uh, with my man, uh, Jesse Matthews, but uh, <laughs> folks, anything we can partner with you and your family, whatever your dreams are, whatever your desires are for home improvement, whether it's small to large, no matter what it is, uh, we'd love to partner with your family and uh, and work with your budget to get what you need. It can be a bathroom, kitchen remodel. Maybe you're wanting to finish a basement. Maybe you've got some exterior work you need done. Uh, you need some soffit, fascia, siding, whatever the case may be, roofing, we can handle it. Uh, maybe you're something larger. You're looking, uh, we just finished a, one of the bougiest pool houses you will see uh, up in Sail Creek. Uh, kind of an inside, outside, some custom Anderson doors. To, 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 mm. to make the switch from inside to outside, custom bar, custom stove, gr- folks, you dream it up, we'll make it happen. Uh, detached garages, we love those, custom builds, whatever you've got, uh, let us know. We'd love to help you out. Give us a call, 458-4135 or pro93homesolutions.com. If you're on the website, click that Contact Us tab. It'll come, fill that out. It'll come to Jesse, myself, and Mark, our estimator. We'll get out, get you a free estimate. Uh, And if folks, whether you're thinking about it now or down the road and you just want to see what your budget or what you need to be budgeting for, give us a call. We'd love to uh, start the conversation and start the process. And don't forget, Dalfina and everyone at the clean team uh, is ready on our cleaning side of the business, whether it's a residential clean uh, or your commercial office. We would love the opportunity to give you a quote as that as well. Again, that's 458-4135. Remember, folks, we do offer green clean this time of year. As the air gets humid, the air gets uh, the weather starts drying out. Uh, mm-hmm. Folks with allergies and asthma and all kinds of breathing conditions, uh, I, I know have a tough time. But also, uh, they don't like that. Some of folks just can't stand that smell of ammonia and chlorine and everything that's in all the cleaning products. We use all natural Melaleuca products. Uh, does not cost you another dime. Uh, it's part of our package. If you if you would like it, give us a call and we will take care of you. So now that I got that out of the way. I'm excited today. I have some have a good buddy with me, uh, a friend of mine, and uh, folks. I encourage you. Well, as you talked as he talks today, he's going to give you their website. You need to go check out some of the things that they've done. They've got some amazing work all over the interwebs. Uh, and uh, I got David Vega here, director with uh, Major Media. How you doing, buddy? I am doing great. It's a pleasure to be here. Man, thanks for being here. And. So let's just jump right in. Uh, you know, give me your 30 second elevator pitch. Tell, tell everybody out there what, what major media specializes in. Well, first, I'd like to thank my sister because uh, she went on a date with Dennis. That's how I got this show. And uh, I didn't realize he would start dating, though. So I wish I would have like, got more out of the deal, but I do appreciate her. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, it's a win win as far as I'm concerned. He, yeah, he really hit it out of the park. He got yeah. super lucky. I didn't think he was going to, I didn't think he had it in him, but yeah, you well, know, he, he you is a catch, do. though. He is a catch. Aww. Uh, uh, but the quick Gosh. the quick elevator pitch without kind of boring you guys, uh, I've wanted to do film and done film my entire life. I used to want to be an actor uh, ever since I was five years old. Seeing Spider-Man, it inspired me. Mom was like, hey, you can't be Spider-Man. It's an actor. I was like, perfect. I'll be an actor then. That's what I want to do. Uh, and then as I grew up, it uh, developed into like more practical ways uh, of filming. Like I made my own stories growing up. But then once I got to middle school, high school, I started filming for other businesses. That turned into me going to college out in California. Uh, I went for live production and acting. Uh, and through live production, it made me kind of grow a love for directing and just storytelling in general. Um, I came back uh, from California. I'm originally from Michigan. Uh, and I uh, started doing short films, some feature films, web series, music videos, commercials. I mean, pretty much everything under the sun. Uh, that's how my nephew, Austin, which is uh, interesting dynamic from my dad's first marriage. That was my sister, who's 
dates Dennis, that's Beth, and uh, she has a son named Austin, and that is my business partner. And uh, we're about a year and a half apart. Uh, and when I came back from college, he started coming onto some of the sets, helping out, and you know, he kind of got awe inspired. So, uh, and that was probably, I don't know, about five or six years ago now. Uh, and then that kind of developed his passion, and now he does all types of stuff from photography to. Uh, website development and everything so it kind of cultivated a good like team uh, and we ended up moving down here and uh, he's originally from Cleveland he's grew up here his whole life uh, he came up to Michigan to to work for our film company uh, we came down here about a couple years ago uh, we do a lot of traveling all around the country uh, Tennessee is a little more centralized and I have family down here as well too so yeah. it's like hey it's a cool move um, plus you know no state income tax so I can't be mad hey. at that <laughs> hey, there's a reason people are moving it's, folks, it's a great like, place it's, it's a great place I lived in California for a while too could wait wait, wait to get back to Tennessee yep. uh, it's it's beautiful out there but taxes are a lot a lot uh, everything's a lot yeah. uh so yeah and i think just some of the things that you know i've seen pieces of i know here locally folks that um even cleveland folks have seen you and i know you guys have worked with several of the high schools yep. here around so they've seen the hype videos uh they've seen some of the things you guys have done i know uh you did some things for bradley football yep. um talk a little bit about how I, and 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 I can attest just knowing these two and watching them work, watching you two work together. That you, it's about the end product for you guys. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And it's something that your guys's passion, I think, is pretty evident. Um, but talk a little bit about how excited it is when you can, you know, work with some of these. It's it's a little different. You guys have worked with professional athletes, and you've worked with with amateurs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I've heard the stories and how much it's. I can tell it's way more rewarding for you guys when you're working with somebody who's not getting paid to be there. Sure, sure. And uh, I, I think it really just comes down to passion. So, like, I don't really, like, we do some filming for, like, some of our friends who have kids that are, like, five or six. Like, some yeah. of them aren't even in pads yet. Yeah. And they're like, hey, if you're free, you want to come out and hang, like, you know, film for us for an hour or two? I want to get some footage. We're like, dude, yeah, sure. I'm free on the Saturday. Yeah. So, like, there's stuff at any level we'll, we'll do, and it's all as rewarding uh, as long as the passion's there for the athlete and they want to be there and they yeah. love it so it's like we don't you know you can work with like a big all-star pro and that can be like super exciting and fun and like being in the presence and a little nerve-wracking so it's kind of like something you have to enjoy uh in this kind of world it's uh you can plan as much as you want and yep. ideally you want to plan as much as you can uh but at the end of the day when you're in the moment it's all about how do you do under the pressure um so like working with someone who's excited to be there and having fun is always like the best and you we've had it. great opportunities yes, you can tell it I, I i just remember i think it was last season the season before you guys did that the, the hype video for bradley that was absolutely you know it was i i didn't and i taught at bradley i coached at bradley but i didn't go to bradley but i don't have a, really a dog in the race but i'll tell you what you get it was hard to watch that and not get cold chills it got me thinking back to back right. when it's game time and gotta get ready to go and i get yep. For a hype video, it got you hype. You know, it's what it, it's what it yeah. is. You guys do all kinds of different things. So for everyone listening out there, I'm just gonna let's just kind of kind of go through the list. I know for a lot of our homeowners here uh, that are out there, uh, you got kids. You might start to have to plan. If you're like me, you got girls. You know that sooner or later you're gonna have to pay for a wedding. I've seen some of the stuff you guys have done with that. You guys, you guys are full service from photography, video to the kind of the whole thing on weddings. Correct? Yep, full full media and marketing. Obviously, weddings you don't need as much marketing, but yeah, we do kind of full scale media and uh, and marketing. So somebody's planning and they're looking for videography and photography. You guys are a one stop shop for for all sure. that. Yeah, yeah, we can do. Gosh, live stream events. We can do your weddings. Um, if you have, you mentioned before, like uh, drone filming, photography, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we've done a lot of real estate. Uh, we can do commercial. I mean, really anything you need photography. If your kids have a little league team or if they have a high school team and they need a photographer, we can get someone out there for you and get some good quality work done for you guys. Yeah, and you talk about, I know the, you, one of the things you just talked about was drone footage. And I know around here we got folks that, uh, you know, may have a lot of land or they're trying to sell the land or purchase land, got questions about what's on their land. And we've got plenty of folks. I know, you know, we've got friends that have big tracks for hunting. Sure. Right. And they're wanting maybe to see kind of get a lay of the land from from that. And um, talk about how you guys 
have incorporated your the drone and the and the and the different uh, camera stuff and different stuff you guys have done to give folks an idea, maybe some ways you can help them out there. Sure. Uh, I mean, pretty much any way that you can imagine uh, or any use is like you're talking about. It's very broad. Yeah. And uh, especially down here in the south, I mean, anything from hunting to surveying your land to seeing, OK, how much land do I have? What do I need to break down to be able to build something? Just anything uh, under the sun. And we can pretty much help you guys with any of that. Um, but also any of the commercial world. Like, again, if you're building something, if you build homes, you know, Dennis, if you yep. need any of the homes that you do, if you need them filmed oh, trust or me, anything we, like we, that, we, we can <laughs> we can do it for you. We Dennis. just in the last year, <laughs> in the last year we started adding. Uh, Mark's got a drone when we were doing roofs, and sometimes if you've got the bigger, steeper, kind of the more contemporary houses have ridiculous pitched roofs. Sure, right? Yeah, um, not real safe to be walking. Uh, right, yep, yep. and right now <laughs> it's too hot to be on any roof. Let's be real honest. But yep. having a drone. Can, can give him the time to really get in and get the estimate he needs. Sure. Because, uh, you know, anybody could pull Google Earth, but if the tree, sh- depending on the shadow or where it was when it took a picture at that time, you're not getting a true picture. Yep. We went through some drones. I'm not going to lie. I had a drone. The first drone we had, we had for about 20 minutes. I made the mistake of letting Jesse fly it. Yeah. Uh, let's just say it's in the <laughs> woods by our office somewhere. We just haven't been couldn't even drag it down. Oh, it was we, that bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to see it. I didn't even get to play with it. Oh, I literally man. put the batteries in it, put the co- screwed the cover back on. He said, "I'm a." And he's got boys, so he's like, "Oh, I know how to fly a drone." Mm-hmm. Takes it out. 20 minutes later, him and his son come back in with a sad, sad look on their face. Sad, sad look. Yeah, yeah. It is It is sad to lose a drone. I've actually, in the many years, I've actually almost done it for a decade. I know I'm young, but I've done it for like over eight years now. I've been flying drones, and I've only crashed one. I only crashed one. And that was years ago. Long, yeah. long time when the dinosaurs yeah. walked yeah. around the earth, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, we were actually filming for uh, my feature film. It was about traumatic brain injury. And in the opening scene, we're following an ambulance. And I was flying the drone and I was tracking the ambulance and towards the end of the shoot I was like okay let's get one more I'm gonna check it a little fancy so at the end of it I went to swoop around but off of the road and there was a tree uh, and I uh, I did have you know a visual observer I did have someone there to make sure that everything was you know clear uh, well I started to see the drone fall through the, the finder and when I looked up uh, I seen my visual observer next to me watching the shot, <laughs> and I was nice. like, "Ooh, you had one job." Yeah, but you I was I was the pilot in command, so I guess I couldn't. Uh, I can't me, blame please him. Please tell me the visual observer was Austin. Uh, no, no, oh. he he actually is one eye, so he can't be uh. a visual observer. So we have to usually hire people <laughs> for the go. visual observing. But uh, yeah, so that was many moons ago. That was when I was pretty young. So uh, other than that, it's been it's been pretty smooth sailing. But it is it always hurts it always yes. hurts i mean because they're, they're, n- they're not it's never cheap to fix them oh yeah no it tossed now, it well it tossed it fell spe- oh yeah 80 it, feet it, it, <laughs> branches. Branches. it had its own oh, traumatic brain injury it did it have did. its own yeah it absolutely it absolutely well listen we're getting up against the hour and we come back we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, all the stuff major media how do they get a, folks get a hold of you guys uh so well this is my only note i needed this is our phone number and uh you can reach us at 423-650-5113 and you'll get uh Austin, uh, so he'll be able to help you with anything you need. We also have a website, majormedia.pro. Um, our social media, our Instagram uh, is directed by dot .us, directed by us. Um, yeah, so that's how you guys can find us. So check them out. Uh, we come back. We got David Vega with Major Media. We'll be back here in just a little bit. You're listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 1041 and ESPN Cleveland 1013. Woo! Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Hey, bye everybody. Welcome back to Home Solutions. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, Dennis Purvis here in the studio with you. Folks, uh, no matter how you're listening, we do appreciate. Thank you so much. Whether you're riding around this morning, uh, maybe you're checking off things off your honeydew list, you're running around to any of the uh, local home and garden shows, uh, some of the hardware stores, you've got a 
you've got a uh, list you're trying to do of DIY products. Folks, get out there, get it done, enjoy it. Uh, while you can uh, thank you for tuning in whether it, you might be listening on the mix 1041 app maybe streaming online and we haven't said hi to everybody up in facebook land thanks for watching um like keep liking and and uh, commenting and listen thank you for everybody that does comments um and and we found some great guests through you guys so people are like hey you need to have so and so you need to have so and so keep that stuff coming um and uh, we appreciate you guys listening. So th we've been going a couple years now, and uh, we'd like to be here every Saturday morning for, it, for you. Today, I'm excited on this Saturday. If you weren't here for the first segment, David Vega, director with uh, Major Media, is with us today. Major Media is a full-scale media and marketing company. Uh, we've talked a little bit a lot about the video. We kind of concentrate on that, a little photography. Talk a little bit. Let's go jump into, because these days, everybody's got a side hustle. We're in a gig sure. economy. We're in a gig yes. economy. And I... And I will tell you, I am one of those people who believes, for tax reasons, folks, everyone needs a side hustle. Uh, when you have a side hustle, everything's tax deductible, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Hooray! Uh, so people are questions. These are questions I have as a business owner, and, and that I've had my... So I'm just going to throw some out to you and just get your advice. How's that sound? I'm going to put you on the spot. That Ready? would be perfect. That's ideal. I don't Social have media. Here we go. Social media. <laughs> Social media for me is, uh, you know, we're all addicted to it. I mean, we're crazy to say we're not. Yep. What is a good rule of thumb for somebody trying to get their name out or they've got a self, they've got a home business or just any business? How do you break through the noise? How do you stop the scroll? What's, what's, what's too much? What's too little? How do you guys navigate that with your clients? Well, I'm glad you brought up the too much or too little because number one is more is better yeah. in every sense. And like if you listen to any of the social media gurus or all the famous people, blah, 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 they all say more is better. Uh, if you can post 50 times a day, like if that's somehow manageable for you, you should absolutely do that because for two reasons. So one, the more you post, the more opportunity you have to be seen by people. So if I okay. post 50 videos in a day, it's 50 opportunities that my content is out there. Because like you said, how do you get through the noise? Well, more volume can help you get through the noise. Okay. Uh, but not only that, like a lot of people who are asking these questions and want to get started, you probably have little experience and it varies, but you probably have little experience in the content realm and social media. So the best way to get good at something is repetition, put in your 10,000 hours, right? So yeah. if you want to do it, the best way to do it is go full bore do as much as you can all the ideas you have try all of them write them down like brainstorm try to get like your friends involved like make it a fun thing like love doing it yeah uh, because you'll find out really fast if you love doing it or not and like if you don't love doing it unless you can pay people to do it all for you then it's going to be really hard to have and success speaking of paying people to do it for <laughs> you that's something you guys can do right that we can absolutely do it for you now the more that you enjoy doing it uh, long story short, the cheaper it's going to be. If yeah. you can film more and you can learn how to edit and you can post, and we just got to like give you advice, help you come up with ideas, give you structure, teach you how to create like a branding and like a brand package and stuff like that, help you with your logo design, website. Like, we can help you with those things, but when it comes down to like the social media, if you can learn how to love it, you can learn how to film with this beautiful device right here that's like you can probably learn this way faster than you're going to learn a camera. And, and I will tell you, and listen, some of you guys know I'm in a band, uh, been around music for 25 years in this, in this area. And we have paid over the years. Um, you know, we've had, we've had different people pay, uh, you know, for, for video work and for, you know, different kind of promotional material. And I will tell you that these guys uh, came to a show within the last year did some stuff just on their iPhone. Why? Like we didn't ask him to do it. They were just doing it for fun because David, Love David, it. <laughs> David does it all the time. Like it's just what he does. He could, he, he figured out the lighting looked really good in there and comes up with his iPhone. And I'm telling you folks, two days later, he's just sending me stuff. Now we didn't pay anything. We didn't ask him, but just him doing some, some just cursory edits to his iPhone mm -hmm. was better than stuff that we had paid thousands of dollars for in the past. Um, so having that capability and just a lot of it, it's, it's the same way in contracting. You got to have the right tool for the job, Sure, but you got to know how to swing that hammer. You, you got to know where you to swing that You can buy a $50,000 Ari. Yes. Go ahead. And all the attachments, yes. you can spend $200,000. But if you don't have somebody that knows how to use the tool it right. It would be useless, it is. man. You just bought, and you just bought a $50,000 
piece hammer. of hot garbage. A wet piece of metal. Is a yeah, hot. This is hot Do garbage. whatever you want with it. Uh, and I don't have that kind of money to throw around no. right now. I, I, that, I still don't. No. <laughs> yeah, I still don't. I've been doing uh, a long time. So folks, can, folks if, they, if you're out there right now and you're, in, and you're kind of overwhelmed by the social media, Keep in mind, you don't know it for, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy parts of it. There are some parts, you know, being a business owner, it's hard to, it's the scheduling that gets me. Sure. I love, it's not that I don't mind doing the content. You know, I don't, I love graphic design. I like video. I love editing. Uh, I like editing photos. Uh, but when a lot am I going to, that's the hard part, but when am I going to do that? Right. You know, and, you know, and, and then the other thing is, more is better. At least, you know, sure. just knowing that I've got to get something out. Sure. Well, meanwhile, I've got to run a construction company. Right. You know? and well, and for <laughs> those of you business owners that are more established and are like running your business, and especially someone like yeah. you who love, like you're creative. Like I've been to his shows, yeah. obviously, and the passion that he has in his shows and of course other things like the lighting. I was like, okay, this is cool. That's the reason I wanted to get up and film. They're having fun. Their energy is good. Everyone's loving it. A song I love comes on. I'm okay, cool. I can film this. I know the song. I can dance to it. We can make it like a one -er, You know what I mean? Yeah. Like one take through. The passion is a big part of it. So creative like you, who just owns the business, and you don't have a lot of time, but you have resources. The good thing about you being a creative is you can spend just a little bit of time putting your vision together. Yeah. Of what do I, what would I want my social media presence to be like? How would I incorporate who I am in it, even if I'm not in it, whether some of my employees do it or we hire outside people to do it? You put your vision and your creative touch to it, and then you can hire people to do all the stuff you don't have time to do. And when we say hire people, we're talking about major media, right? Sure, and sure. And hey, guess what? We might not even be the right fit. And it happens all the time. That's why we do a free consultation. So just so you guys know, feel free to call us. And we'll talk to you guys. We'll see where you're at. We'll give you advice. But we're going to give you honest guidance. You might come to us and be like, and we might be like, hey, man, this isn't, this isn't going to work. Whether for whatever reason. There's a plethora of reasons. Maybe but we could some, think here, that. But like, here's somebody you, know. you might be able to get to. You can help them get to somebody that might be able to. Absolutely. Them. Whether we can get you to somewhere or we can give you advice. Because like, it happens a lot where like hiring people to do a lot of these different things costs a lot of money yeah and if you don't know how to do any of it and you're trying to hire people and you don't have a large revenue stream that's already like stable it's hard to start out so some people might have a small budget and it's not fair for me to say oh yeah I'll take your $500 when I know I'm not gonna be able to make them the amount of money they want to make with that $500 and doing what we do $500 might not be enough an investment there's better places you could put it yeah. so as a business owner I'm gonna advise you also what's probably the best thing to do with your money because yeah. I want you to come back to me because yeah. one day you might be able to use me or this might work Doesn't do or, you any good for somebody to not have success exactly it doesn't do me any good to take your 500 bucks when i know that might not do what you need and hey maybe it does maybe you have this and that and you want to do this thing and i'm like oh that's perfect we can you know optimize that amount of money and get you results that you'll be happy with. and how did it give us give us that phone number one more time on yep. your website phone number again is 423-650-5113 and the website is media uh made Majormedia.pro. Majormedia.pro. So, yep. you know, I think so much of, you know, I've got to hear some of your guys' conversations, um, you know, with customers and, and with some of your clients uh, with Zoom calls and different different <laughs> calls you guys have been on. We would do them in the living room yeah. when he's hanging out with my sister. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> nature of the, being a business owner and is, traveling. <laughs> the point is, a lot of your job is education is educating sure. your clients. Then that's that's really our goal. Because yeah. like if you don't understand what's going on or what we're doing or what you're going to get out of it, like you're not going to be happy. So well, we have to teach you a certain amount so you know what's best for you too. Yes. And I, well, and as a business owner, I think what, what would give me assurance from that is that I know where my money's going. Absolutely. I know what I'm paying for. You know, it's... You know, it's the older I get and the more distance I get from the newer technologies. You know, having teenage daughters makes me realize every time I think I've got an app mastered, I'm like, I'm going to get on the TikTok and find out what my daughters are doing. Well, they're not on TikTok on anymore. Right. There's a new app that's out there that I'm sure. not even, I didn't even know existed. And right. by the time I get it, new one every day. <laughs> yeah, by the time I get it downloaded, they're onto something else. So as I feel like that divide going, you know, when, when, when we got into start thinking about our website and stuff for the company a few years ago, you realize that there, 
you got to be part of the humility of being a successful business owner is being comfortable with knowing what you don't know. Sure. Absolutely. But understanding that I feel good about paying someone who will show me or can do it for me. Absolutely. And and I think that's one of the things that I've, I respect about what you guys do. Not just what you said about there's times where you tell somebody, look, we're we're not just going to take your money to take your money. Sure. It's about relationship and not transaction. Right? Exactly. Because we want we want you calling us back. Right. When when you're three when you're three years from now and you're a multi million dollar company and you've got that budget mm-hmm. for this for this marketing, we want to be your first phone call. They're sure. gonna remember who told them the truth. Right. They're gonna remember who was honest with them. Right. And like a lot of creatives get a bad rap because like it's extremely hard, as you know, to be a creative and a business owner. Like those are two clashing well, mindsets. Because it and it's Literally, hard to quantify. When you get down to this, yeah. Psychology, it's their it clashing is. mindset. And it's hard to <laughs> like, quantify that to put, we run through that in, in, it's like the old adage with contractors. Somebody showed up and goes, I can't believe this is going to cost $2,800. I can go buy the stuff for $400. I'm like, okay. Can you buy the 10 years of experience it took me to do this at a perfect level so you're not mad at me when it's done? What about the $3,000 worth of tools that are in my truck right now that I've had to invest in to use this material? I'll tell you what, you go buy all that stuff, you get in there for about four grand, then I come over and then I'll show you. I'll tell you what, you can charge me 10 bucks an hour. I'll charge you 10 bucks an hour and I'll just come over here and show you how to do it. Yep. Run you through it. By that time, they've spent six grand. Yep, no way. When you're, and especially when it's a creative thing, when it's a video and it's a vision. Exactly. Boy, it's hard to put dollars amount on visions. Yep. And if you're gonna hire people, creatives, and like one of the last things I want to say, make sure that you're in tune with like your vision and what you want. Because again, they're not business people, so not all creatives are thinking how are you gonna monetize on the far end of this. Yeah. And that's something like we yeah. have to think about with our clients. Like, is this worth wow. doing? Is this gonna make money? Is this, you know, what is this trafficking people, the right people? Like, there's a lot of things that go into it. So well, make sure. That creative you're hiring understands what you want out of because if you both don't know you're might you're probably gonna be happy even if it's high quality you're not gonna be happy yeah because and that comes down to i know another part of your guys's business is looking at the nice thing about all the socials and the internet is that you can look at time of uh, uh of um what is uh like the insights yes yes you, you get direct this. feedback yeah, yeah the next who's day engaged, like what's instantly. the engagement Absolutely. Are, the this, ages, the genders, are the, everything. Is this video keeping somebody's attention? Is there, Are they watching at what point? Because you can see now at what, what point they stopped watching. Every it. second, yeah. Seven yeah. seconds in of a 20-second video. Oh, that was too long. Or what did I do at seven seconds that made them yes. not want to watch anymore? Scroll to the next one. And I could or tell what you, made them watch this four times? And when we, were, this bunch, when we were so. going through people a few years ago of who we were going to use, one of the things was there were, there were people out there with successful, but still in business to this day, but they couldn't answer that question for me. I'm a bottom line, rubber meets the road. I'm, I'm right. kind of that good of right and left brain. I'm, I'm, I like Excel spreadsheets, but I also want to write you a poem, right? Sure. It's, it's yep. fun. Uh, but it's, You're blessed yeah, is what it's called. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I want is I wanted somebody to, okay, I want to be able to see if I'm going to spend this money where my ROI is. Right. And I think that's one of the things that you guys do. I know um, that's something that Austin likes to dig into is, is well, because it, it, it's one thing to have a really good product. But then when you have numbers on the back end that can say, and this is what this we brought is the to result. you. This is what we brought to you and your business <laughs> yeah, this week. It helps a lot. Yeah. It helps a lot. So one more time, Major Media. Uh, it's majormedia.pro. Dot pro. Give us that phone number yep. one more time. 423-650-5113. Folks, whatever your marketing, media, photography, videography, drone, folks, we didn't even talk about if you've got if you've got high school kids that you're trying to maybe they're athletes you're trying to put together some highlight reels for for college recruiting. These guys, we didn't even get into all the things they've like, done. If it's with camera, audio, sports. social media, Give anything, them a call. we Give can them a we call. can help you. I out. Promise you, you, they'll make they'll make your boy or girl look really good. Yep. Um, thank you for being here today, man. Yeah, thank you for inviting me, man. It was super fun. Appreciate you guys. Listen, thank you guys for listening to another installment of Home Solutions. Uh, we'll see you guys next Saturday. Dennis Purvis signing off. Remember, go home, love on your family, love on your neighbor. Remember, we're all in this together. You've been listening to Home Solution right here, Mix 1041 and ESPN Cleveland 1013.